Another growth form of corals are these mound-shaped or massive colonies. In these corals, the polyps grow outwards and upwards, and new polyps are added into the space that's created between polyps as the skeleton expands. Again, we start with just a few polyps uh, joined together and attached to the substratum. Over time, the polyps grow outwards and upwards, and new polyps are created in the space that arises as the colony expands. A solid, dense skeleton is left behind underneath between the living tissue layer and the underlying reef substratum. Over time, these mound-shaped colonies can grow to be very large, several meters in diameter. And they always grow by the polyps growing outwards and upwards, leaving behind a dense, solid skeleton with a thin layer of tissue on the outside. Mound-shaped corals can form different types of uh, shapes and sizes. They're not all perfect spheres. And they can also have very different coralite sizes. So these are all examples of massive corals, and you can see the differences in the coralite sizes. On the left, in our first example, we have a massive coral with very small coralites. In this case, about two millimeters in diameter. You can see there's very many coralites. They're those tiny pits on the surface. Here's another example of a massive coral with coralites that are about one centimeter in diameter. This coral has separate walls. You can see that individual coralites have their own walls and the coralites are actually poking out quite away from the underlying surface of the skeleton. Here's another example. Again, the coralites are about a centimeter in diameter, but for this species, the walls are shared. So you can see the individual coralite mouths and the walls being shared between adjacent coralites. Our final example is of a mound-shaped or massive coral. In this case, the coralites are up to two and a half centimeters in diameter. The walls are shared, but for this species, we have multiple coralite centers occurring within each set of walls. You can also see very spiky teeth on the scepter of this particular species. So mound-shaped corals can have very different coralite sizes, but they all form these solid mound-shaped skeletons. Mm -hmm.